Hi everyone, in this video I will try to explain some basic concepts that you need during the lab. For example, I will give some basic knowledge regarding the gates, logic gates, and how to generate a project by using Uwado, and how to test your circuit by using TestBench. These are the basic titles that we are going to mention in this video. And before starting, I shared a video link under this video explaining how you can download and install Vivado but you should download and install Vivado 2018.3 for this course not the version in the in that video but you can I, I shared that video for you to understand how you can download and how you can obtain the correct license for your program and for the installation step you can you can go over those steps to download and install the program so let's start first by explaining the logic gates here we should have a circuit we should have a circuit or in order to write our log code right we should have a circuit and this circuit should have a purpose and we should write a very low code for that circuit and after that we should write a test bench test bench code to test to verify whether this circuit this code actually works properly or not so here we have an and gate a b these are inputs input ports and c is the output port and this is the tour table of the and gate we can also we can also represent this tour table as signal form here t0 t1 t2 and t3 are time intervals if you want to know deep knowledge about the binary numbers or boolean algebra or logic gates I strongly recommend you to go over the videos that I shared in the previous semester and this is the name of the play this is E205 Digital Designer Station in this playlist there are a lot of videos regarding digital design course and if you know them beforehand, your performance in the lab will be higher. Anyway, we have an end gate here. We have an end gate. This is our circuit. And we should write a Verilog code describing this, this circuit. And after that, we should write a test bench code to test this circuit. Now, let's move on to the Vado. When you start the program, you can see your create project. Click on create project. Then click on next. And this is the project name. Let it be example one, for example. Then click on next. This is an RTL project. Again, click on next. And here we should click on create file and file type should be a Verilog language not VHDL and file name for example digital design or let it be lab1 and click on OK here you should select target language as Verilog and then click on next again click on next again and finish and this is the interface of the model and this is our module name let it be lab1 and ok Let's say yes, 
and this is the interface on the left side you can see the project manager and here on the sources tab you have constraints and utility source and it will give some other simulation options here it's updating yes here we have design sources constraint and simulation sources this is our circuits name let's double click on it here on the right side you can see a new window opens and this is our module and its name is lab1 actually our circuits name is lab1 here and firstly we should define our inputs and outputs as you can remember from here our inputs are A and B and our output is C so I'm writing them as input wire A and input wire B and output wire C and I define here my inputs and output and after that here I should write my code so that it work on the purpose of it for example this is an AND gate so I'm writing my code actually I can write in different ways but I will use assign command here assign C is equal to A and B this is an AND operator you can search the operators on Verilog on the internet and you can find other operators and after that I finish my code by writing and module I start my code by writing module and my module name and I define my inputs and outputs and I write my code on purpose of my circuit so and at the end I finish my module by writing and module command and if you want to add any comment on the code for example you should write double slash and for example write here end of the code for example and write here for example and gate you can write some comments here by writing double slash on starting of the line here you have a company name and your name or blah blah these are not important and I press Control S to save my code and after saving as you can see here there is no error on the code if you can see any error here this rectangle is red should be red but here zero errors zero warnings or zero nodes also you can check them from the PCL console messages you can see whether there is any error or not let's see for example delete a semicolon here and again press ctrl s as you can see here the rectangle is red and it says that there is there are two errors here and critical warnings here you can check from here alright now we describe our circuit now we should test it in order to test it we should write a test bench code and for that I'm right clicking here simulation sources and add sources add or create simulation sources next and create a file this is relog file and lab1 testbench tb ok and finish again click on ok and yes under the simulation sources you can see lab1 tb here and lab1 our circuit 
then I click on level 1 TV here and new window opens next to level 1 and here I should write my test bench code on test bench I don't write any input or output I just write here for example we can imagine this test bench like this for example we have our circuit here our uh, end gate circuit and we have a test bench circuit like this this is our test bench test bench and I add a test bench and input A B and output C and then I will put my circuit inside it this is C this is A sorry for that and this is B and after that I should combine the input of the test bench and input of the circuit like this and after doing that I will change I will change A and B then observe C this is capital C here I will change capital A and B and observe C and I will try to verify whether my circuit work uh, here yes our circuit and gate is working properly or not yes let's move on to test bench here I'm defining my inputs of test bench by using reg command register and my output by using wire command as a wire by C and now I'm writing the name of my circuit this is my circuit name is lab1 and I'm writing here lab1 and UUT meaning that unit under test and I will now combine I will do this operation now this is unit under test my circuit this is lab1 we give this name this is this is lab1 name of the module and I will combine this capital A and this input of my circuit now let's do this here point A and capital A point B and capital B and point C and capital C here I make this combination here here for example in order, in order to combine this capital A with this uh, small a I write here point a and in parentheses capital A and so on and after that I will I will write here initial begin and end and here I will change the values of capital A and B here you can see here change A and B and then observe C I will change A and B here now and for that I'm writing here A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0 and wait for 10 nanoseconds for example and A is equal 0 and B is equal 1 and so on now right here all the combination and I press on ctrl s 
in order to check where is where, whether there is any problem or error in the circuit in the coding and after that there is no error here and you can see your lab 1 TB is above the lab 1 and this is unit under test and this means that it's okay we wrote our code properly so at the end finally we should run simulation and click on run simulation here and run behavioral simulation and wait for the output and this is the simulation result let's make it bigger you can see here the input values and the time intervals and the output value for example here from 0 nanosecond and 10 nanoseconds from that 10 nanosecond here all of the inputs and the output is here 0 and here between 10 and 20 A is 0 and B is 1 the output is 0 because it's an end gate and here 1 is 0 and again 0 and when finally both of the inputs are 1 the output is 1 so we can understand here that our circuit, our reload code is okay, working properly and there is no problem.